Hiya and welcome to Build. I'm Daniel Welsh and today we're live from London with Sam and Billy Fares, British reality royalty, everyone. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be chatting to the girls about the current series of The Mummy Diaries, which is currently on ITVB. So if you've got a question for them, then don't forget that you can tweet us at Build Series LDN. That's Build Series LDN on Twitter. Or if you're watching live on Facebook, then put a comment in the video that you are currently watching. And we'll do our best to get that to Sam and Billy before the end of the interview. Sam and Billy Faith, hello, welcome to Bill. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, I want to talk to you about the current series of The Mummy Diaries, yes. which is on ITVB. So before we get into it, can you just bring everyone up to speed with where we're at family-wise? Okay. Because you've got yeah. quite a brood between you at <laughs> yeah. this point, right? Um, well, we've got two each, haven't we? So I've got um, Paul and Rosie. <laughs> and I've got Nelly and Arthur. So Arthur's just turned one. So he's like at the age where he's literally on the move everywhere. I feel like when he's we get to walking, when he? we get together with the kids, it's like chaos. it's just chaos. <laughs> I mean, it sounds there. I mean, all of those kids under a certain age. That yeah, sounds yeah. like we've got four under three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we do actually have a clip from the show that we're going to watch now. This is from the most recent episode, I believe. Yeah. Now, <laughs> even when I watch that, it still makes me well up because me when you too. see your family cry, it makes you upset. Yeah, of but course. also that time, like in like three to four weeks time I'm going to find out what school she's going to go to so every time I watch that or when I think about it I literally get butterflies in my stomach that's how like you're reliving it it is I am reliving it every time like my eyes water how long ago <laughs> is all of this filmed um oh, we finished maybe about three weeks ago did we finish yeah that? we finished quite recently yeah. so it's, it's been filming our lives fast, the last six yeah. months yeah so it's proper up to date then really really yeah. up to date yeah. Yeah. well let me ask you about that clip Billy because obviously we yeah. saw you pretty much reaching the end of your tether with <laughs> yeah. the process of applying for a primary school yeah. for uh, Nellie, who, who is, how old now did you say? She's three and a half, so she's four in July. Okay, so how, how did you how did you anticipate that that process would be quite so stressful and also quite so emotional? Actually, no, like I didn't really think, because what, what happened was I knew what I had to do, obviously applying for forms, but there was something in it which really threw me, which was basically writing and describing why I think she should go to the number one choice, like the school that I really want her to go to. So I feel like that pressure just built up. There was I, a clock and it was ticking It was down, ticking. So it? I, it was like in You're 10 minutes get. time and, and it really threw me because I was like, oh my God, I'm logged in. This is it. Like no one's, t I was like, why has no one told me about this? But <laughs> apparently it's like a new thing. They've just like thrown into the equation this year. So it's like, I was so shocked and I think that and everything else and just the fact that she's my firstborn. And, yes. You know, it's just so emotional and I feel like it's just a start. The end of one chapter, the start, like the start of a new, but I just feel like it's so nerve-wracking. Yeah, I can com completely relate because when I was buying my Beyonce tickets last week, <laughs> I had them in my basket and the clock was just ticking <laughs> down and I was, exactly on, it. I was on the edge exactly. of my seat. So, Billy, we're in the complete same boat, yeah. I understand. <laughs> um, the Mummy Diaries, as we've just discussed, it does... Uh, deal with a lot of things that a lot of parents up and down the country who are yeah. your age and older and younger as well are going through. Is that kind of important for you that you deal with like real subjects that are facing real mothers yeah. in the UK? I think that was like, this is like the reason why I think the series is doing so well and we're on our third now because we are relatable. So like we go through everything other, other parents go through and it's not all highs. There are a lot of lows, there's a lot of tantrums and tears and we haven't held back on anything. And you know, throughout the series, you'll see that there is just a mixture of everyday normality life as well as a mix of our other lifestyle that we get up to in the glamorous side. Yeah. But most of it is like what every parent does. I think the only way the show works is by giving them everything and letting them into yeah, all like areas all of our life. So it's like, yeah, all or nothing. Yeah. And I think people, a lot of mums, we've found, especially since the show's aired, that they're so appreciative that actually, oh, we do the same, our children act the same, they do this, they do that. I feel the same. So I think and it's just like being on the relatable. journey with us as well. Aren't yeah. They? That's what people like, they can sort of reach out to us. Well, I think this is the thing because you're both so well known from being on TOWIE and, you know, other reality shows as well that yeah. people have yeah. seen you both on. People have kind of followed your journey anyway, exactly. and they're used to seeing a more glamorous side of you. They used to seeing yeah. you on like red carpets, <laughs> yeah, getting your tan and your nails done Going on towels. We've gone from like one extreme <laughs> to the other. Now we're like, you know, Earth Moms. In my kitchen, chasing <laughs> the kids around, <laughs> tidying toys. Making dinner, changing nappies. But this nappies. is it, you've just said that you include everything in the show. Yeah. Um, when it was when it first like pitched to you and it, you, they first approached you mm. with the idea, 
um, were you hesitant at first to kind of let the cameras in to your family life as well? Because obviously you yeah. were used to it with Tawi and stuff, but this is a completely different ballgame, right? Mm. Yeah, I think like, I mean, speaking for myself, I definitely was because you think a show like this, you've got to give it all or it's not going to work. Yeah. Like from when you're pregnant to when you're giving birth and everything. Like, because obviously where it's called the mummy diaries, they, you want, they want everything, yeah. you know? And like, I think as a family, we just made the decision that we're just going to, run with it and just make it the best series we can give it give give it everything and yeah and it's we're in our third series and we're just so grateful that it's doing so well what um what eventually made you when you were first toying with the idea what made you eventually say yes i'm going to do this um for me i think it was the fact that when um when i had baby paul i was like i still want to work but i possibly couldn't leave him i want i want to yeah. work but i want him with me so it's kind of like a win win so like we're working and then we i'm being able to be the mum that i want to be as well because you know i'm working we're every- kind of taking our kids to work with us every <laughs> yeah, day every day yeah. <laughs> but it's just literally a normal life so it's whatever yeah. we're doing there's just two cameramen so following it, us it works yeah it is the kind of best of both worlds situation yeah, exactly. isn't yeah, it yeah. Uh, is there anything that you wouldn't Want, uh, want them to film. Is there anything at the beginning you said, I don't want to show this, I don't want to... Well, I, mean, I think we're just quite normal. Nothing, really. yeah. Nothing I think really that I would be like, oh, don't film this. We're not really... It's ev- it, I think we've we've let let them let into them our, in, like, yeah. all of our lives, not just part of it, like everything. I think our They only... even stay over sometimes, don't yeah, they? Yeah, to, to get the morning stuff. and the night stuff. But I think our only concerns will be in the future is, is with our children. Like yeah. if there's a point where they say... I don't want that. Like, Nelly calls them the filmers. I don't. Yeah. If she says, I don't want the filmers coming over. At the moment, she says, "Mummy, are the filmers coming over tonight?" Yeah. Yeah. Like she's loving that it. That could change. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think that's always something we have to be prepared for and aware of because they come first, obviously. Yeah. yeah. At the moment, I think that like it's it's a two member crew. Like to it's really discreet. Discreet. They're like, they're just yeah. Small cameras, two guys, and that is it. It's not like a big following us around yeah. in our everyday lives. <laughs> yeah. And also like you say, it's two two regular faces that I guess they exactly. get to, they get to know. Get to know yeah. um, on that subject, is there anything that hasn't made it into the show that you're really relieved about? Like were there any kind of embarrassing moments? Maybe mm. any big rows that didn't make the cut? Oh no, a row would always make the cut. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that would never not make the cut. I think if um, everything pretty much I mean they dropped made. some stuff that might be a bit like mundane or boring, but they would never drop anything that was kind of I think what's juicy. interesting as well, we f- the things we find are boring, like let's just say the morning routine breakfast, at home, yeah. breakfast, is actually what becomes the funniest and what the viewer loved because the viewer thinks... Like me making cheese on toast. Yeah, that's so boring, simple. obviously not. Yeah. <laughs> All the headlines, <laughs> like everything. It, it's what actually everyone yeah. is interested. That... People just want to be... They oh, we like do that at home. Yeah. And... I get, well, it's like you say, it's the relatability thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and let me ask about your families as well. What did they say when you first said, listen, the cameras are going to come around. They're going <laughs> to follow us around for six <laughs> yeah. months. They're going to be watching you on dating sites. They're going to be watching us row. Yeah. Was everybody up for it at first or was there any kind of... Well, mum, like our mum doesn't particularly like it. She? She's not... She's, she's quite like nervous when In front the of the camera. Yeah, she can't... But people exactly love relax, her. So we're she, like, we mum, you so need good. to do more. Like, yeah. like just... But I think it's it's hard to just expect everyone just to take to it naturally. Like, yeah, like, yeah. It's like Paul, my partner, he's he, he does not like it. Like he has mm. warmed up, like from back in the start, yeah. he has warmed up. But he like is a pure example of someone that he just can't relax or be. He's himself. a little bit camera shy. Yeah, but then like actually like tonight's episode, for example, he, you see a different side to him because he's with the guys. Like, so mm. He's with Greg and my dad, and they're having a bit of boy banter. <clears throat> he sort of like lets his hair down a little bit, but he's kind of yeah, he's not made for TV. <laughs> so what do you say to him when he's like, oh, I d- I'm don't really want the cameras coming today or whatever. Well, to be honest, like, it kind of, like, based it around what I'm doing with the kids. And if Paul's there, he's there. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I've always said that to him. Like, obviously, I want you in it because you're part of the family. But they do base it more around me and Billy and our children. Yeah. And then if the men are there, then great. Yeah. <laughs> um, and on the other side of it as well, so this is being in front of the camera, but what about being in the public eye? How do Greg and Paul feel about that? Because Greg, you were with Greg when you were on TOWIE, is yeah. that right? Yeah, and he was, was never in TOWIE. He was never in TOWIE. Yeah. No. I actually think Greg loves it. Like <laughs> he does. I'm not even joking. He's a natural. I he think enjoys he's it. really enjoying it. Like little things. He's just. I think he's quite. Greg's quite confident, isn't he? Yeah. And he's really confident he, on the cameras. He yeah. Loves, like chat. He, he knows. He what loves to talking do. to yeah. people, meeting new people. He thinks it's all a good experience. Paul's like, the opposite. Completely. Whereas opposite. Paul just can take or leave it. Does, yeah. Like, he's he's like. It's, but actually, those two together, like in tonight's episode, it's really funny. Yeah, you see have a different a good laugh. side. Of Paul almost, don't you, as well? 
Well, that must be good for you, Sam, kind of seeing him yeah, like, relax and stuff. Of course, because it's nice for him to, like, like, really be himself and see, like, more of a fun side. Like, when we're at home and it's just us, I think he feels the pressure. Like, yeah. he was like, you can't relax. Um, but, you know. When just... you're filming, what is the most challenging part? Because, like you said, you're living your normal lives, mm. but with these two guys with yeah. presumably massive cameras in the house. So how do, how do you balance that? How does that work for you? Um, I think we just go with the flow, see what each mm. day happens. Obviously, like, we'll plan things so it's not, like, every day indoors filming you out doing stuff. It's really good as when the f we come together and do stuff. Yeah. Like, like trips and that together. I think also you, you, you almost have to switch. try and switch off yeah, from the cameras. Kind of like, they do hover. <clears throat> And then, like, they'll get moments... Because with children, it's so unpredictable. Every day is different. You don't know how they're going to be. You don't know, like, what's going to happen, do you? So it's like... What's going to come out of their mouth. They just kind of, like, <laughs> nearly. hover around until <laughs> something happens. Like, yeah, like, nearly. Um, so yours is kind of a unique show um, in British reality. It's two sisters who are both mams, both new mams, kind of going about their yeah. business and stuff. Um, and we mentioned a minute ago, Billy and the, um, the primary school applications. Sam, you've discussed like breastfeeding and things like that as well. Are you always surprised when uh, issues related to being a mother are such a big deal with people still? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I mean, when, when I was pregnant and when I first had baby Paul, like, I didn't realise like what a big world that like, the mum world was until mm -hmm. like now I'm in it. But because everybody has an opinion. So you could be doing all things right, but... You, it just blows up every time we do something called post something and it's we don't mean to be like that we're just doing our thing no but of course it's so controversial and you don't yeah. mean it to be um how do you deal with that because i'm glad you've just said yeah. that because it's one of those things where everybody has an opinion, opinion yeah. and of course it's the same in life as well you know if yeah. you're a new mother mm, there's going to yeah. be one person telling you to do this and exactly, one person telling yeah. you this but for you it's, it's like magnified yeah. Yeah. and you know you go on mum's net and that's where everyone's really oh, no, got an opinion yeah. right <laughs> don't go on mum's net <laughs> <laughs> is that your advice to any celebrity mother yeah, just, just don't, don't go, go on, on mum's net <laughs> I, um, just, I just think like with when you're a mum you've got to kind of do it your way yeah, and that's it and that's the message that we want to say you know as mums we're different mums as well yeah, aren't we're we so to each different other? As so mums, it's like our children are healthy and happy. Like as long as like you're your doing, family, your family's happy. happy and you've got the balance and you're doing your thing. Like I remember when, when you're pregnant, people try and tell you so much stuff and give you advice. And until you have your baby, like it's actually the way you want to do it. You actually don't really care about what everyone else has told you, and you do what suits you and your family. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm. Um, we mentioned as well you want to use the show for kind of platforms for yeah. issues related to. Mothers in general, actually. I was going to say young mothers, but no, just everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are there any particular issues that you really want to push on the show? Maybe it's in the future. Um, issues, like, you mean, like, with just Well, just like the things we've mentioned. I think just like, yeah. even things like weaning, like, babe, like, you know, yeah. when you wean Rosie and, like, when you stop breastfeeding her, I think things like that. People Mums like are really know, yeah. interested in, like, how you've like done when it. I had the home birth. Yeah, like, the home birth was a, a huge, people like... People was like, wow, I didn't realise that it could be that nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. at home. Do you know I mean, at home. And that was a really good thing for me to... I really wanted to get that message across. If you're low risk, obviously, like, it's actually really lovely to have a home birth. And I kind of proved that because mm. they was like, don't do it, not Yeah, again, we was against it. it. But actually, <laughs> it was really nice. And that was quite a big thing for me because I really wanted to put out there to mums that, you know, would like a home birth, like, go for it. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we've had a social question in from Jan. So hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. Um, she says, Sam and Billy, I'm so pleased you have a good relationship with your parents. How <laughs> important is it for you to have them involved in your family's lives? Really important. Really important, yeah. I, I mean, we are really lucky because we have, like, I've got um, Paul's mum as well and we've got our mum and they're just yeah. there for us all the time whenever we need them. And, and even though our mum and dad aren't together anymore, we're so lucky that obviously we can all still be in the same room. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. that's we're so appreciative of that as well. And I just think when you're, like, mum and dad become grandparents, it's so important to have them fully involved. Need, yeah, yeah, it's when, um, when you started including your parents on the show and stuff, mm. did you give them any advice before they got in front not of the really. camera? Not really, no. We just that let might, them do their yeah, thing. We just let, we just <laughs> let them do it, don't we? And it's actually worked out for the best. Because if we tell them what, what to, do, to do, they might be thinking about it and not acting themselves. Be themselves, yeah. So it's kind of just like, just be yourself. And actually, Dad loves it, Dad's doesn't he? really funny. He's but really... Like, in tonight's episode, it's hilarious because he goes on a date, like a blind date. Yeah. And... The first part of the day, he looks so uncomfortable. He looks he's really nervous. nervous. Because and because he's he never done it by himself. By himself yeah. without us being there. Because me and Billy weren't there. So he was like really nervous. And then when it comes back to him, he's had a few wines and he's loosened up a little bit. <laughs> but it's just and so then funny. he comes out of a really silly comment. Silly comment. <laughs> and yeah, and you're like, like, why did you say that? It's embarrassing. <laughs> What's that like for you watching your dad <laughs> put, it, put his foot in it 
on national telly. I, I think it is. It it seems worse than what it is to us, but we just. I think we just laugh. Like it's we do. Fun. Like it's light-hearted family yeah, fun. fun, and I think that's what makes the show so great and relatable because it's an easy watch and people can just enjoy it. Yeah. Does it get like we're just talking about people and their opinions and all that? Does that get tiresome at all? Because there must come a point where all you want to do is put a picture of your a baby picture, on Instagram, yeah. like everybody else, and yeah. not have a load of people in the comments saying. What are you doing that for? What are you doing? Like, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, sometimes you think, should I just switch off the comments? And then I think, oh, no. Like, sometimes it's quite good to see like, yeah. people's opinion. But, yeah, you do get I those moments. I think generally think, oh. we get a lot more positive than negative, which is really good. Um, but you do, like you do say, get you the always get the odd one. I block and delete. Delete and block, sorry. If, yeah. if it's a bit, like, a, a, like above the mark, uh-huh. I'll delete the comment and block the person so they don't get the chance to mm. do it again. Well, that's <laughs> probably good, though, because it means yeah. you're just not going to be dwelling on it. You're not yeah, going to be exactly. having to look at it every time yeah. you look exactly. at the picture. Exactly, exactly. Um, what, how, so how do you, well, I guess you uh, delete and block. Billy, how do you deal with like the, that kind of You're not really a comment reader, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go, well, did that's you even see, better. I don't did really, you yeah. see this? And she'll go, oh, I didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so behind. Oh, well, that's the right attitude, though, <laughs> that's right? much better. Um, can I quickly talk to you about Towie? Because you're both, we were both very important in the early days of the show. Sam, yeah. you were in it from the very beginning. Very Billy, so. you joined it a little Episode bit later one. on. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel like the show has changed since you left you mean tower itself yes i just think it's it's just you know new characters and it's just evolved in such a different way now i tell you what it? i think what well, it is as well when we first started i was 19 so i was a teenager yeah. so we was all we so was really young, young it's and a lot had, older now the cast yeah a lot older so we was all young 19 nothing to lose never done tv before it was all fresh wasn't it so it kind yeah. of it was like there was no filters and i think such. we just had so much fun like there there was obviously like dramas and issues but we just but that's what I'm saying. We didn't have anything to lose, did we? It was just no. like fun. No one expected to It was to so have different it to was what it is fun. now. Well, that's you've just touched on what I was going to say yeah. because nobody could have anticipated how big that show exactly. would be. Yeah. yeah. Was there like a moment where you realised like, oh my God, we're actually Yeah, when we won the BAFTA. Oh sure. my God, of course. Yeah, when we won the BAFTA. That was a big moment. <laughs> what yeah, was that, that was like? Really, that was amazing. Yeah, that was really good. That was, yeah, that was pretty amazing. What was, was there any gossip from that ceremony? Um, <laughs> Did no, you see anyone famous? Was just, yeah, everyone was there. It was just amazing. We just, I think we were just all so like overwhelmed and excited. I remember like, the original cast, who was all there, had yeah. you know, it was all glammed up and stuff. We were just all like jumping and screaming. We couldn't believe it. <laughs> was that your both of your highlights then? Um, I wasn't on the show then, was there, I? No. I joined, it, I've joined, joined series, series two. Yeah. So we, that was series one. They won the mm-hmm. after. But I remember seeing you on the red carpet and being like, oh, "That's my sister." Yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm gonna get on that show and I'm gonna get the BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> I need a BAFTA. Um, what, what were the downsides of that kind of thing? Because obviously it was. Big fame, and it yeah. was very, very quick. Yeah, which I, I guess think, you're still kind of dealing with now. Again, like it was, we had such a great fan base. It was actually a really young, fun fan yeah. base, and it wasn't really that negative. And you didn't really even have Instagram then, did we? It was social really media was nowhere near as big as, big what, as it, what it is now. It, Twitter so was wasn't big, wasn't it? But yeah, it wasn't. But there wasn't like hate. Do you yeah. know what I mean? There wasn't like yeah. body shaming and all that. It was kind of the really early days of like social media. If so, anything, it was probably more people just laughing at the situations yeah. going on in the show. It was more tongue and cheek. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, let me ask you just before we wrap up, sure. um, where would you both like to see yourself in five years career wise? Because obviously the show's going really well, mm-hmm. but you've both just mentioned if the kids have a sudden change of heart about the filmers coming around. Yeah. <laughs> so is there anything else that you'd both like to kind of venture into? Um, I just think I want to take each series as it comes and I'd love the brand the Mummy Diaries to grow mm. uh, with us. Yeah. But like we were saying, the children come first, but I feel like we've got so much more in us, haven't we? Like yeah. together as sisters doing things like hopefully TV wise, maybe across seas. I don't know, like we've got just to keep, we want to keep working and grow our businesses as well. Yeah. So I feel like. And families, we both want more children. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Billy's getting married next year. I'll hope to get married as well. So. <laughs> Have you got any idea like how many children you would both like? Or are you I just think I would like four. That's specific. Yeah. I think maybe three. But then uh, then again, I think, oh, maybe four then. I was going to say, is that We're enough, for, have football, three is that enough for the first football team? Yeah. I know. <laughs> they imagine how many of us. Yeah. Oh God, it's mental. <laughs> all right, girls, I'm really sorry. That's all we've got time for. Thank but you thank for having you so us. Much. Um, don't forget to watch The Mummy Diaries on Wednesday nights on ITVB and give it up one more time for Sam and Billy Fears, everybody. Woo!